Good morning, digging SoCal here at the beach today. We're at Huntington Beach. It's gonna be fairly warm today, so we're gonna get it started real early. It's about six o'clock right now, and we're gonna get right into this hunt, so let's go. Normally, I've been using the uh, Equinox 800 on here at the beach. Today, I decided to bring down the 540 for a while. I had a lot of questions um, whether, regarding whether it would do well in the sand. So, I don't know if it'll do well in the wet. I might try it later. <laughs> A 910 right here so hopefully it's all good here whoa score first real good find I found a couple pennies and a quarter so far a nickel but I just found a ring sorry about the blowing noise Nice. That is sweet. Probably some type of stainless steel. Got a little diamond right there. I don't see any markings. It's probably Tunzin or stainless or something like that, but that's pretty cool. Got my first ring. I was talking to a surfer down the way and he said it was really packed yesterday. So this is a good sign. I just undug this in a train car, wooden with metal in the wheels. Pretty cool. And I've also got a signal right here. Coming up as a 20s. A little higher than a penny. Whoa, are you kidding me? Did I just find back-to-back -back rings? Look at that thing. Whoa. Sorry, I almost dropped my uh, scoop or my uh, detector. Check that out. That's a weird shaped ring. Huh, let me try this on. Very interesting design, but wow. Back-to-back -back rings. It's too light though, it's gonna be just probably bling, but uh, very cool. We're definitely off to a good start. So I was getting a uh, 27, and I just dug up a car. Pretty cool. Nice hot wheel. Wow. Awesome. Well, that was a deep little hole, probably about a uh, foot down. And another car. Got a Jeep this time. Marina Club. Rings and cars, rings and cars. Just jumping all over here. So we got this done. Oh, something just fell out. Hold on. What do we have? Oh wow. Hot wheel. This is a Batmobile of some type. Huh. Cool. All right, just got a. Uh, Single scoop off a 910 hit, and I just picked up an earring. Not too impressive, but another piece of jewelry found. All right, this one's jumping around 27 to 30. My guess is a quarter. I think I have it. Yep.
1994. All right, three shovelfuls, and I got my first tent stake. All right, now we're talking. All right. This one's jumping all over. I'm afraid to say it, but it's screaming tent stake to me. Whoa, look at that. I see something shiny. Are you kidding? Whoa. I was wrong. Look at this. Whoa. That's a big phone. It looks, I'm guessing Apple. Crazy. I will clean that up and see if I can get it to work and get it back to the owner if I can. That is really cool. Yeah, it's got the case protecting it, so maybe I, it's okay. But actually, that's not Apple phone. At least I don't recognize those eyes. <laughs> eyes. At least I don't recognize the lenses. Maybe it's Google, maybe it's some off-brand. Cool, that's a great find. Got to give you a shout out, Robert, for my channel. Oh, uh, yeah. So, Robert Ferguson, he's got his YouTube channel. You got to check him out. Yeah, check out my channel. It's Robert Ferguson. He just told you that. Yeah. Look, I just found something. Nice. Looks like a dime, but it could be wrong. It could be silver. Let's see what it is. You see it? I'm trying to be quick about it. Oh, yeah, just a dime. There you go. <laughs> All right, Robert. Catch you on the next one. All right. Brandon to uh, Gary having a snack here at the beach. Hey, Gary. Okay, I worked my way from the pier, zigzagging in the water, and reason being is uh, I was asked if this was this uh, vanquish would work in the salt water. So it's not chirping, it's not doing anything crazy, but I finally got a hit. And that is probably going to be a penny, more than likely. Like this one-handed dig here. All right, now it's in here. And there comes the water. Golly, that'll be fun. Now I gotta find it again. First time the water came up this far since I've been doing this, and of course, because I had found something, the water came up. I'm watching for it to be washed away, I don't see anything. All right, so it washed it actually right back into the hole. Now I got it right here. I guess the waves are coming back in now. And I see it. <sighs> so, that's the uh, Vanquish 540 in the wet. It's not my regular go-to, but it definitely uh, has found that penny so far. That was a great morning at the beach. Had a lot of fun, had some good finds. Um, didn't collect as many uh, pieces of trash this time. I had uh, probably about 10 or 15 bottle caps that I actually just threw away. I'm not including those in the uh, finds this time, but uh, definitely fun. Met uh, Robert Ferguson. Like I said, he's got a channel. You got to check it out. And uh, really nice guy. Enjoyed talking to him for about 15, 20 minutes. So let's get to uh, what I found. What's the day without some tent stakes? I actually only found three. This is uh, different than I normally find. I, get, I found a few of these. Um, bobby pins. Got a key. Got some piece of uh, rusted iron here, a couple pieces, some zipper pieces, hair pieces, a um, couple bucks in change, maybe two and a half dollars in change, vape, a lot of toys. This actually has no metal in it, I just saw it laying there so I picked it up. Um, all these were found with the detector. And then um, the Batmobile, of course. Then uh, this cleaned up really nice, it is a Galaxy S10 Samsung. 
I don't think I have a cord to power it up, but it cleaned up really nice. I'll see if I can get it powered up so I can uh, figure out who owns it. And then uh, jewelry wise, I found two rings. I just tested this one, it is not gold, it has no markings. And then this one here, I'm not really sure, there's no markings. I don't know if it's white gold or stainless or what, but uh, it's got one little diamond in the middle. Really nice ring, clean. And then I found um, one earring. Again, no markings on it and it's just bling. But uh, not bad for about four hours work in the beach. Definitely um, great getting back out there. Had an awesome time. So I did um, actually try to use the Vanquish 540 in the wet. It did a really good job. Um, I worked quarter mile in the, in the wet and only found one penny, but there was a person ahead of me and it probably got worked pretty good. I saw some marks around the beach that show somebody was detecting probably late last night after the crowd left. So just didn't have the fines in the wet, but uh, it did pick up the penny. So it definitely is a, did a good job. So I'm glad I kind of stuck with the uh, 540 this time just to give it a try at the beach instead of switching to the Knox. Um, very pleased with it. So if you're looking to get a new metal detector, um, I would have no problem buying the 540 even if I was doing the beach all the time. It did a really good job finding everything I found today and it's done great in the tot lot. So I highly recommend it. It's half the price of the Knox and it's, you know, everything's automatic. You don't have to ground balance it. So it does make for a quick and easy uh, detector to use for a good price. It's one of my uh, favorites to go to. With that being said, um, I am at about 1,700 subscribers. I am looking at giving something away at either 2,000 or 2,500, I haven't decided yet, but it's gonna be big, it's gonna be epic. I'm thinking I might have to give, uh, give away a Vanquish. So we'll see how that goes. Um, as I get closer, I will let you guys know but uh, I've got about 300 more subscribers to go to get to the um, 2000 mark and then I'll make a decision on what I'm going to give away. So more than likely it will be a metal detector. That's going to be huge. It's going to be really cool. Um, I've given one metal detector away before. That was the C-Scope. And here we go again. Whereas we get closer, I'm going to uh, put out what the uh, giveaway is going to be. So make sure if you're not subscribed, you hit that subscribe button so that uh, you know when uh, I get close, make sure you hit that uh, notification. And again, a great day and thanks for coming along. Digging SoCal out.